Oh, this missile motor is here. We're going to talk for a minute about how to deal with the DOS path. Let's talk about that for a minute. The DOS path, I'm going to give you the path command here. Type in the path at the DOS command prompt. The way you get to that is click start, all programs, accessories, you come over to the command prompt as you see here. That'll get you to pull this window up here. What you can see here is the DOS path. And what the path does is it's sort of like a card catalog. It will show you or what it has set are directory locations that where the system will look when you type in the partial name of a command, okay? Like uh, fdisk or the mem command or a command that, that exists in the system somewhere. So if I want to type in the, um, let's say the xcopy command, uh, xcopy. Now, I did not give it the xcopy command something to copy, but what I did, what you do see is that it is locating the command. Xcopy lives down in, in one of these system directories. Now, it lives in one of these directories located on the path. The path is used so that I can type in the short name of the file or the command like xcopy without giving the, the full path name to it. And it will look it up. It will look in this path and determine where it is. And once it finds it, it will execute it. And if it doesn't find it, it will generate an error. So if I type in another command like all z's, which doesn't exist, it's going to look for look look down the path not find it generate an error now how the system does it is it takes a look at the path equal statement and each of these directories are separated by semicolon so it looks in c colon backslash windows backslash system 32 which is a full path full path begins from the root directory which is the top that's the root symbol semicolon c colon backslash windows is the second directory and it's going to keep looking down this path separated by semicolons and keep looking at the directories in those in that path, which are several directories, until it finds the command or generates an error. Okay. Now, if I set the path to null, that's just turning it to nothing, and then I say path, it'll show you that it's not there. If I try to type in xcopy again, it'll give you an error not recognized. But, but I'm sure that xcopy lives in here. Not really 100% sure. We'll find out. And it does. It lives in C colon backslash Windows System 32. That's the full path to xcopy. And you notice that it was on the initial path to begin with. That's why I, I was able to type in xcopy all by itself, and it located it in that first directory. Okay, now I haven't given you um, the actual xcopy. I haven't done anything with xcopy um, other than to show you that it worked. It did say invalid number parameter, so it did find it. To run xcopy, you want to just... So xcopy, this is on a side note, has nothing to do with path. xcopy actually copies a directory subtree. Um, so I just want to talk about the path for a minute today, and this is uh, copyright, uh, Todd Metters, 2007. Thank you. Bye.